Hi, I'm Chris Matthew. I'm the founder of the Nodester open source Node.js hosting platform. So I wanted to take you on a quick spin uh, of the platform and um, you know all the source codes available at github.com slash nodester. Looks like Dan's already uh, put out a new uh, update out there on logging so we're going to check that out here in a minute. Um, but basically, Nodester is a uh, an API uh, w around a stack, a whole Node.js hosting stack that uh, is all pure 100% Node.js. Uh, there's no reverse proxies, nothing. So it runs on Amazon EC2, but uh, the way the, the the project is oriented, uh, you can uh, clone the software yourself and uh, run it on your own instance of EC2 or uh, Rackspace or GoGrid or your own data center. But uh, you are welcome to deploy your Node.js apps to our EC2 instance um, to get the hang of it and try it out. So um, the site's real simple, but the API is real powerful. So um, when you look at, at the uh, options, um, first off, there's a, a command line interface that you can install as an NPM module. I'll walk you through that. And then for every uh, API, we have a, a command line uh, command or a curl. So your preference on how you want to uh, control it, uh, we kind of walk through both uh, scenarios. I find myself using the command line because it's so much quicker. Um, but if you don't have a coupon, you want to simply request one from us. and We send them out in uh, every three or four days or so. Um, you want to make sure we're growing smartly and uh, or you can curl it uh, right there just uh, put in your own email address there um, once you get the coupon you can come back and hit this register button and uh, we basically do the the API curl request for you um, and if you want more information on the API just click on the API and you'll see that we have information about the status of the platform user updates create delete same with apps Create, update, delete, uh, get the status. Um, we also have uh, an NPM sandbox, so uh, your NPMs don't, uh, and your GitHub, your Git um, directories, nothing merges with anyone else. Uh, so if you have NPM modules, you'll have to add them to your sandbox of your app. And I'll show you how to do that and uh, basic Git steps on how to deploy. But we're going to do that for you here real quick. So. If we open this, we're going to first grab npm install uh, nodester-cli. That grabs nodester for you. Now, if you hit, if you just type nodester with nothing else, that gives you a list of all the commands. Uh, really basic. Uh, that's how you you could request a coupon very easily. Um, what uh, you first need to do, though is uh, set up your your account tell the command line what your account information is so it's nodester user setup uh, I use Topher for my account name I won't show you my password so I'll uh, set that up okay looks like it's happy so now um, now let's create an app so if we go to nodester app create my node JS app. How about that? We'll tell it the starting name. We'll call it hello.js. That should do it. So what we did here is uh, we created an app called uh, my node.js app and we told it that the the starting file is going to be hello.js and what it did in return it gave us a, uh, a git um, repo to push to and uh, confirms that the app is set up and it's running on port 8341. So at this point, we could go ahead and create a directory, create an app, make sure that we set the listener on 8341, and we'd be all set. But there's a really cool feature here. Uh, so if you go to Nodester app init, uh, tell it the name of the app, my node.js app. And we'll tell it the directory we want to put this in. So we'll say we want to call it, let's call it the same thing, my node.js app. What this will do is it will basically um, create the Hello World uh, application for us. 
and uh, lo locally, and it will also push it uh, to our Git repo, and it will start the application for us. So I kid you not, if we go to uh, my node.js app dot nodester dot com, we should see hello world. Is that too sweet or what? We didn't even have to write any code and we have the app. But uh, let me show you what it looks like. So if we go to uh, cd my node list, we've got the hello dot uh, js. It automatically created for us. We'll open uh, text pad text made up. We can see uh, the app right there. It automatically has our um, our uh, port uh, created for us and um, uh, and our git repo is already set up. So that's pretty cool. So I mean if we wanted to just say hello world uh, uh, this is Chris and we save that we could simply do a uh, git add there, git commit, um, updated text, and we could do a git push nodester. Oh, we have to tell it who nodester is real quick. Okay, so hold on. We're going to grab this uh, repo it gave us. We're going to say git remote add nodester and the name of that repo. So now it's happy. So now we'll do a push to nodester master. Looks like it's happy. So now watch. We'll go back out to here and we'll refresh this. Look at that. This is Chris. So we have a Node.js app running on nodester. I, uh, I've never seen a service this easy to deploy a Node.js app, and it's open source. So let me let me show you something uh, more interesting, well, slightly more interesting. So if we go to um, uh, expressjs.com, this is an example where you have an npm running. So let's let's grab this source code here, this little hello world here that uses uh, npm express, and um, Let's put it there. Let's make sure we use the same port that we're using on the old app. Let's remove this old app. And we'll say hello world via express. So this this one is is an npm. So we're going to we're going to do is here we're going to say var express equals uh, require Express. You want to make sure that you have it uh, loaded, which I do. So we'll save that. We'll play it. We'll, let's run this on localhost just to make sure everything's happy. So we'll say node uh, hello.js. So that's running and it's on port 8341. So if we go to here, we can do a localhost. 8341 we should see there our hello world uh, via express so now if we come here and do another uh, git add git uh, commit added express um, what we're going to need to do also is uh, before we push it let's go ahead and uh, uh, nodester I think it's there it is add npm install right here we're gonna have to install express into our um, our app name so we're gonna say nodester app npm install uh, app name is uh, my node.js app and the package name is express So I got some 404s. What do I get incoming? Da da da. Nestor app npm <clears throat> install. Hmm. 
Oh, it looks like it's trying to install, let me just say Express. Okay, so it already knew because I was in the directory what my app was, so I didn't have to say the name. So I just uh, add npm express. That should do it. So now if I do a uh, git uh, push nodester master, now that should be up there. Should have restarted my app. So if we go back to uh, here and refresh this. There we go. Hello world via Express. So now we have a new version of our app running uh, the Express uh, NPM module on uh, Notester. Pretty easy. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope um, uh, this project inspires you to contribute to our, our project. And um, feel free to host away and promote us. We're on Twitter at Notester and online at nodester.com and github.com slash nodester. So uh, have fun noting, fellow nodesters. <laughs>